So my name's Karen and I'm from the east of Africa. My background, I'm from Burundi, really old. But that is my dad's brother. Um, this is the only picture I found. As you can see, it's quite ancient. I tried to find old pictures, but they all just got lost in the war. Um, so this is one I can find. And this is my mommy. That's my mom. Look how young she looks. <laughs> and that's my mom again. So, thinking about your own ancestry, mm -hmm. what sort of percentage do you think that you it's all East Africa? Oh, 100%. Oh, I'm pretty sure. How do you feel about uh, taking a journey based on your DNA? Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. So it's quite simple. You get half of your DNA from mum and dad, and they get 50% from their parents, mm -hmm. and so on and so on. As you guys are watching? I can look away if you like. <laughs> That's fine. In this tube is the story of Karen. Right? This part of the story of you is floating in that tube. It's freaky, no? And what we'll do is we'll take it away, and in a couple of weeks we'll come back and we'll tell you a little bit more about you. Okay. So what do you want to find? What, what, what should be in that result? That I'm East African. Yeah. <laughs> that my ancestors are East African. So are you ready to take your journey? Yeah, I am. Cool. Interesting. Karen, hmm. you want to come down and join us? How are you, Karen? Good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How have the last few weeks been? Confusing. I'm just lost. I know who I am. I'm African, East African. Very sure of who I am. Mm. But, um, yeah, listening to the last few, it's been interesting. Yeah. Sorry, I can't keep staring at this thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I just realised that I didn't really question about finding out, I think. And today I was like, do I really want to know? Do I? You're still Karen, though. Right? Whatever that bit of paper says, mm -hmm. you're still I think, who you are. I think for most people, it's um, not a joke, but like a surprise. But I'm African, so it's a bit deeper than that. Can you explain that to me? Because our history and what we've been through. So you grow up and you have to come to terms with that. And I'm just settling as the self of the who I am, and I've accepted that. So I don't know if I want to know anything else. But the envelope contains biology. It doesn't change your culture. No, it doesn't. This is true. This is true. It just gives you a different view of Karen. Mm. Mm -hmm. And maybe it helps you understand you a little more. No, I think it's, it, the, the good thing is, is that I will be able to see my journey back. It's just because in my history, there's so much war and all that jazz. Sorry. This adds, Karen, this doesn't take away.
I'm 61% um, Southeast African, 38% um, Cameroon, Congo, and then 1% Benin, in Tongo. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I'm in a big deal out of nothing. <laughs> you are who you say you are. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any surprise in there for you? Um, Cameroon, Congo. I don't. Yeah. Don't know how that happened. <laughs> how did that happen? Some of that might be coming from your dad's side. Some might be coming from your mum's side and their ancestors further back might have been from these areas and they're just passing those little bits down to you. And even today, you know, your, your ancestors echo through your DNA mm. to make you and that's what, uh, that's what the map is telling you, that you have echoes of these countries in you. You know, we're, we're all African, right? We all came out oh, yeah. of Africa <laughs> right, a long, long time ago. Yeah. So everybody in the room is just a tiny bit African, but we're diluted with oh. other things. I will. <laughs> Have a great journey. I will. Yeah, safe thank, travel. Thank you guys. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> yeah.